hello guys uh, welcome to tech design please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you will receive all the notification which the videos are uploaded uh, so in the previous video i have explained you the move command which is a part one and this is the part two of the move command so let us open the same uh, assembly so that i can explain you uh, the other commands in the motions so in my previous uh, video i have explained the move command uh, until uh, this uh, align axis to vector so you can go and check it out the uh, until this what are the what are the motions uh, how these guys how these uh, motions will work so now what we have is here uh, csy uh, c uh, coordinate system to coordinate system so what i will do is i'll just select this before selecting this uh, i'll just create uh, two coordinate system along uh, different uh, directions so in order to explain uh, that so I'll go to coordinate system and uh, let us select uh, okay here is the coordinate system uh, one coordinate system and one more coordinate system I'm going to place it on this as well so suppose you want uh, there are uh, two coordinate system uh, existing in your assembly and you want to move component from uh, this to this so using a coordinate system you can go to move command and uh, there is an option called uh, csys to csys so you need to select a component uh, this is the component i want to move and from csy okay this is my from so i'm selecting an uh, for example y x plane so here as well i'm selecting this and you can see here the component is moved now this is underneath this uh, body and this is how this uh, component works suppose if you want to make it visible so what i will do is i'll just uh, move this a little bit higher click ok as you can see here this is moved above from uh, this point so again i will make a coordinate system to another coordinate system so select a component and uh, here i'm going to select this uh, xz plane and the same way i'm going to select the xz plane over here so you can see here from this to uh, coordinate system to this coordinate system the component is moved so this is how that uh, um, uh, coordinate system to coordinate system works so next we have is a dynamic uh, i have i think i have used many times this dynamic this is as simple as that so you need to select a component and there will be an, uh, a dynamic uh, coordinate system will come and you can move along this uh, vectors or else you can rotate here uh, the way you want and this is just like a manual uh, there is no like you can also you can provide some uh, angle over here you can see around 50 degree if you want to move in different triangle and uh, there is a distance if you want you can view the distance as 50 and uh, this is how this uh, manual dynamic uh, coordinate system would works and there is one more option which uh, the move handles only if you click this uh, this handle will be only moving uh, the component will not move this will be helpful for uh, snapping this uh, coordinate uh, dynamic coordinate system on body so what you have to do is you have to suppose you want this coordinate system to be on the head of the uh, bolt so you can use move component only suppose if you want this to be on uh, the tail you can uh, activate this move handle only and you can move this so i'll just move this here and then i'll deactivate this as soon as you deactivate this the component will also move now so if you want to place it here you can place it and i want to make this as uh, along this direction you can make this direction this is how this uh, dynamic coordinate system works guys so i'll just delete these two coordinate system which are not required anymore okay so next we have is by constraints so i think uh, i can able to explain this my by constraint in the assembly constraint itself so uh, whatever the options over there in the assembly constraint the same constraint uh, types are available over here so better uh, to explain all these things in the assembly constraint so 
you can check that video which i am going to upload very soon uh, the only difference uh, between the move command and the assembly command is that uh, the move command will not give uh, will not restrict the degrees of freedom suppose for example uh, i will explain this everything in the assembly constraint so you can uh, check the assembly constraint video so um, i'm going to upload the assembly constraint video as soon as possible so please subscribe to channel uh, you will get a notification and the next is we have a delta x y z this is as simple as that guys uh, please select the component and give the x and y and z uh, direction value so along which it will be moved suppose two degree along x so x two degree and now y c is a 50 so it will be moved along y direction as a 50 and z c around 20 so it will move along that you can give the negative value as well in order to make it in reverse direction so minus 20 will take you to the along the negative direction of the <laughs> vector so this is how this uh, delta x y z works guys and this is the projected distance so i'll explain this now as you can see uh, the projected distance will work uh, for example you have the distance of uh, references in order to move one component from one place to another place for example what i will do is uh, i will just place this uh, component by over here So I want to move this uh, uh, component from here to here uh, by taking this, these two holes as a reference. So go to move command and uh, select a projected command, uh, projected distance. So now uh, select a command, component, sorry, along this direction. So what is my start point? Start point is this, suppose I'm selecting this point and my end point is this so as soon as i select this endpoint uh, the component will move from uh, bottom to top so now it has moved from uh, this point to this point guys so this is how it works uh, guys uh, suppose for example uh, you want to move this point from uh, one place to another place using some other distance as a reference so you can use that uh, and uh, i will just show you the again uh, projected distance and this is my component and specified vector i'm just going to uh, move this by along this direction so what i will do is i will uh, there is in two holes from uh, this point to this point and there is a distance from uh, this uh, hole to this hole so the same distance will be moved this component so what i will do is i will just select this reference and this as the, the reference so you can see here the distance uh, whatever the distance we have between these holes uh, the same distance will be moved along this direction this is how this uh, move command works guys uh, hopefully i will make one more video on this move command to explain uh, how this copy and uh, the what are these settings uh, please uh, stay tuned and uh, please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button as well as share my videos thank you guys